Welcome back to the course in Robotic Process Automation. In this video, I'll take you through the Power Automate interface briefly, and then we will link the accounts that you'll be using to automate emails and files. On the left of the screen, you'll notice that there is a menu. I will take you through to some of the menu items as we progress through the course, but you can also investigate the items at your own time. The first menu item that I want us to use is the one called Connectors. Connectors are the connections that you must create in order to make automation that works with your apps and tools. Microsoft has a comprehensive list of connectors but you can also add your own. To start with automating emails, create a connector for your emails and another one for your cloud storage. This is how you do it. Click on Connectors. On the search bar at the top, type the name of the email service that you wish to link. For the purposes of this course, I'll be using Gmail for emails and Google Drive for cloud storage. Once you've found the email service, then click on it. A number of triggers will show, choose the one called, when an email arrives. This will be phrased differently depending on your email service. If you are stuck, just drop a text on the chat. Once you've selected a trigger, then a pop-out screen will require you to sign in or authenticate. Do the same for the cloud storage connector. When you want to connect another tool, just come back to connectors and do the same. You will be working with triggers all the time, so here is a definition. A trigger is an event that will cause or trigger the automation to start. For emails, a trigger could be a new email arriving, deleting an email, labeling an email, moving an email, and so on. Great, now we can create the first automation. See you in the next video where we'll be organizing emails from your manager.